What's up you guys, Zoe here from OneGlanceTrader.com and in this video I'm releasing the first part of the OGT price action indicator for TradingView and if you guys have been following me now for what is it three years, four years now since I started my YouTube channel my first ever video was the MT4 release of the OGT price action indicator which back then included the pin bar candlestick pattern and over the evolution of time over the next six months that price action indicator for MT4 we got five different um, candlestick patterns and for the trading view version I'm starting with the engulfing bar so if you download this today and again it's absolutely free link is inside the description or I'll show you where it is where you can get it from within the trading view platform um, we're starting with the engulfing bar and then we will look to go make the doji the marabozu the famous pin bar and the which one which one am i missing the the uh, the inside bar as well so i'm looking to create the exact same price patterns that i have for mt4 i'm looking to recreate those on trading view and if you want to create your own trading view indicator you can click the first link um, down below which is the Fiverr coder that I personally use that has created every single one of my trading view indicators is really fast really responsive so make sure uh, you go check him out so you can go straight to his Fiverr page and make sure that you mention the OGT YouTube channel and he'll uh, sort you out with the discount as well so make sure you go check uh, check out his page now first thing is is how can we find the OGT a price action indicator and um, I've just released this and um, the video I think is going out in a couple of days time so by the time you watch this video uh, you'll be able to find it inside the public library so if you just type OGT um, obviously it's in my scripts it's not in the public library at the moment um, but check out I've got videos on all my other OGT trading view indicators that, that I have created as well as you can see here the trend dashboard seems to be the most popular but <clears throat> I think that this indicator will arrival the trend dashboard in terms of popularity um, as as it grows and as more and more price patterns get added to this indicator so I'll be updating the script because as I mentioned currently just includes the engulfing bar so you um, all you need to do is once you find it just click on it and then it'll get added to your chart and we'll go on to this later but I've got two other indicators on here the classic Bollinger Bands at two standard deviation and the classic RSI at 14 period with a overbought oversold level at 70 and 30 um, so this particular indicator if you go into the settings and we'll go into some examples you can see on the screen of the um, actual um, elements and alerts that it kind of sets so for the engulfing bar for those who are familiar with the uh, mt4 version there are two main key inputs and the first one is a check number of candles now what this does here is well if i take a step back if you guys aren't familiar with the engulfing bar it is a two bar pattern where the second bar aka the mother candle uh, the range of that bar uh, fully engulfs the previous bar and that there is called an engulfing bar because hence the name that second bar engulfs completely the second bar, uh, the preceding bar and what this um, check number of candles does is that it looks back at the previous five candles or as the default is five and it checks to make sure that the mother bar's range is greater than the previous five candles. And why is that important? Because the more reliable uh, signals is when the mother bar or the engulfing bar is big. When I say big, I mean like, you know, bigger than like the previous X number of bars. And so again, you can make this one, you can make this zero, you can make this 20, whatever you want to do. I wanted to customize this indicator so you guys have complete flexibility to suit your own trading style. So the default is five, you know, and that's, you know, for those of you who remember, I got this from uh, the kind of the idea or the, 
or the coding behind the scenes is all done through Walter Peters's naked forex kind of terminology and book. And he talks about, he calls it the big shadow inside his book. Um, it's a great book, by the way, you guys should uh, really check that one out. Um, and he recommends, you know, five as, you know, kind of being the default uh, from there. The next one is the mother bar or the engulfing candles body is how big do we want um, the, the fill of the bar? So the high and the low is how much of that do we want to in, uh, in got, uh, encapsulate the whole range of the candle? So the higher the number, the better. So what this is looking at is as a percentage. So the whole bar in terms of the fill, um, it has to be a minimum of 70% as default. You can make that 90, you can make that 95, or you can make that, you know, 50. You don't want to go too low because if you go too low, that means that there'll be bigger wicks, which then will either lead to a doji type of um, price uh, uh, price pattern or a candlestick pattern or even a particular pin bar uh, pattern as well. So again, obviously... Um, the higher you make the number, the less signals you'll get. The lower you make the number, the more signals you'll get because it's looking at a minimum. And that's the same for the check number candles back. Um, a lot of people ask me is what is the best settings? You know, it's a very subjective uh, question and it's a very personal answer in my opinion. Depending on, you know, what type of trader you are, do you want more reliable signals or do you want more signals or do you want less signals? I've always used five and 70 as the default. And then, you know, I can, if I'm not sure what, uh, if I see a signal and I'm not sure, I'll play around with these figures and put, move this to six or move this to 80 to still see if that signal still occurs. Um, if I put higher settings on, so I'll rather get more signals, um, see where it is in relation to the chart, use other technical tools, and that will then help me in terms of my decision-making. So, what happens here is it gives you two two types of signals. You've got the bearish engulfing where the candle is red, and then you've got the bullish engulfing where the, the mother candle is uh, green. So if we take, for example, let's have a look at this one here because uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, which one are we looking at? Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go look. Um, let's go look at this one over here. This one kind of um, kind of uh, does what I needed to do. So this particular bar over here, you can see this bearish engulfing. And let me zoom in slightly on this so you can kind of see <clears throat> on this. It works on any time frame. Um, and uh, so I'm on a GJ chart five minute just to show you to show you this particular example. So you can see here that this bar's range, so the high and the low, engulfs the previous bars, um, uh, engulfs the previous bar. And also what you can see is, is that uh, the range of the candle is greater than the one, two, three, four, five, uh, the last five candles. The next piece then is that the body, so this red fill body, as you can see, it's got very small wick. So this is probably, I don't know, 80, 85% filled and we've got a minimum of 70. So when you see a, a, a formation pattern like this, this is um, indicating that price wants to continue the momentum down. So if we look at where we are in relation to the chart, we've had, um, you know, uh, an up move over here. And the reason why I like the RSI and the Bollinger Bands on this is because you can see here that this formation occurred at the top of the Bollinger Bands. And the Bollinger Bands, one of the most classic uses of it is if price closes outside of the band, you know, price wants to revert back to the mean. As you can see on here, price touches the bottom of the band, goes to the mean. And... As you can see here in this particular example, you've got a bearish engulfing, which is a uh, bearish sign. You've got price hitting the top of the Bollinger Band, and you also have the RSI closing, closing in this one at 70.22. So you've got three confluence indicators that price wants to kind of go back down. And again, managing the trade, you know, could be the midpoint with, you know, just above the highs or looking at previous support and resistance and take, like I said, take profit these at the mid band 
or back down at the lower band. And again, you've got another one over here. Look how big this bearish candle is, completely engulfs the previous candle um, and price then shoots down. Then you've got, you know, this bullish engulfing candle. You see that um, it's more than 70% of the range and the whole range of the candle is bigger than, you know, probably the previous eight, nine candles and price then uh, shoot, shoots up. And again, you know, like I said, let's just go to, I don't know, let's just go to a four hour chart. I'm just making this up. Um, so you have examples here where you've got a bullish, a bullish move here, um, bullish engulfing. But here, even though price does go up and, you know, you could, there could be a, you know, a, a move to continuation to touch the top Bollinger Band, but it's not one personally that I would uh, I would potentially um, take over here. Again, you've got another one over here, which again price does continue to go down, but again um, I'll be cautious on this uh, because price is closed outside the Bollinger Bands, and you know the RSI reading was around 35. So if we zoom out slightly, see what else we've got over here, just to kind of you know show you guys some uh, some examples. And <clears throat> another one thing I like to do again is here is trend continuation. So we've had a strong move down, move back up, strong move down with this bearish bar, and as you can see, how price continues to uh, uh, continues to go down as well. So again. This is where, and again, you can use either outside of the uh, Bollinger Bands or RSI, you know, going into oversold territory as potential kind of take, take profit targets. And this is current price action here. So, you know, just looking at this one over here would have been a nice one. If we zoom out slightly, <clears throat> we've been kind of ranging on uh, on this piece. And then look, you've got another bearish one over, uh, over here as well. I can just zoom in. Come down to here. I'm assuming it is. Assuming it's this one. Does that really look like a bearish engulfing? Can't even see it. I think yeah, there's a candle over here that you that you can't really see um, because it's covering it. Um, where this candle engulfs the previous one, which is covered by the uh, text, and then you get that uh, strong, a uh, strong, uh, strong move down uh, from there, and then you've got another. Uh, bullish one over here where you make a strong move up you kind of get a flag pattern and again engulfs these uh these particular bars and then you've got price you know shooting up from shooting up from there so again i hope you guys can see how powerful this indicator can be and again just overlaying the bollinger bands and rsi just gives you that so much more information that you guys can use uh, inside your trading works for stocks as well uh, I'm just going to pick a stock um, charge point, as you guys know that, uh, that I'm currently in at the uh, at the moment. But again, look, you got a bullish bullish move here. You know, touch the uh, bottom Bollinger Band, and then you go up. Um, and you can see here, you got a, this is a lovely bearish engulfing top of the Bollinger Band. Price goes down. You got a uh, bullish engulfing bottom of the Bollinger Band goes sideways for a little bit, continues to make that move up. Um, then you've got a bullish uh, bullish engulfing here. But again, it's at the top of the Bollinger Band. So that should have given you an indication that's probably not the best point to uh, take a trade because price uh, can potentially um, jump back as well. So again, just by looking at charge point over the, over the four hour chart, there were three trades there that would have, you know, uh, gone into your favor and you probably wouldn't even taken this trade just by overlaying the Bollinger Band because at the end of the day, you're gonna get signals anywhere on the chart and you really gotta look at this in relation to where it is on the chart and what other technical factors are out there. So make sure you get this indicator yeah, make sure you get this indicator. If you've got your own indicator idea and you want that, check out um, uh, the Fiverr uh, coder that I use. He's absolutely fantastic. He'll jump on a Zoom with you as well to discuss your requirements. So his link is down below and I should see you guys in the next video.